Let's have a look at the world Good luck, through guys. one monitor. Hey guys, welcome to Suzuka. I'm looking at one monitor today. Be fucking uh, chatting. Nope. Room brag. That's one of my rooms. There we go. Look at that. One monitor, guys. Just the one. I'm halfway through. I thought I'd have a race, but just see what it's like. I've had three for so long. This real estate here and here, looking through the corner and and stuff. I was um. I didn't, I've, my second race today, I didn't realize how important it was to have, not the whole screen, but probably when it's 26 seconds, that much of each monitor. I'm about to go to a super ultra wide and I realized in my last race that I don't need these bits, especially in the skippy. If you look to the left of the skippy, it, you just see the roll bar. So I got crashed out in my last one. 16th place. Like everyone. The track temp is 22 Celsius. Try not to get crashed out of this one. Okay, mate, get ready. I think the Relax. fields are really high. Go! Nice and clean. In one piece. And I've got a few more frames this time. 70 frames. So, the beauty of one monitor is I'm using 66% less load on my screen. So I can crank the settings up. And I'm seeing things today that I haven't seen all week at Suzuka. You know, dust particles and shadows. And I'll turn the shadows down a bit. What was that? Will? I'm not after record pace or anything like that. Just the experience of just the one monitor. And when I record okay, for you guys, it's basically... Um, showing you what it's like in one monitor, but to be in the car driving, there's bits of the track. So yeah, today is my birthday. Happy birthday, knackers. <laughs> this is where I got punted. I'll just see what it's like in a pack. So we're down to 70 something frames. This is all good. I didn't lose too much there. Just an X. And we haven't lost any time to Michael. So we've got a bit of a slipstream now. And Pull away from him a bit, try not to get held up with the guys up front and see what happens. Point six to Michael, this is good. Nice gap, gone from 16th to 14th. Just chip away at it. Gotta get back above 3k. <laughs> Didn't quite make out what he said there. A little patience up your end, though, while these guys work their stuff out, please. 
I thought they were going to tangle twice already. Everything's clean now. Yes. Oh, good. So this part, looking um, through that monitor over spoon, you could really see uh, good for you know judging gaps and stuff. Ready. On the main straight has always been hard for Suzuka. But, you know, look at, I've got a big stadium full of crowds. The bridges are here. The, the just poles, light posts, it's all there. So quite promising for what I can actually turn on for the ultra wide. One monitor and less cables. I'm looking forward to going back to my old overlay or layout that I had for the channel where we had less stuff over the car. Got to show the mirrors and I think showing the mirrors really adds to the experience for you guys to watch and you've got the virtual mirror but you've also got these mirrors where you can really kind of I like the old layout, but I had to change it. Mm. So far, so good. Going too wide up there, which is keeping us with them. <laughs> okay, Glenn, keep piling on the pressure. He'll make a mistake. Fastest lap for Simonson, 224.31. Just under That's a your second slower. Lap today. Nice job, give me some room, man. So that John Vogel is the one who caused the carnage in the last race. What did he say? Oh, it's just the accordion effect. It happens all the time. But what he did was punch. Time behind this guy. Get your elbows out and get round him. You've been talking to Mick.
Tom, who was it that punted you? I'm not sure. Might have been Enzo. That would drop. Ha! Plus it. Okay, so this is not the laid pack. Don't worry, I think there's going to be more death in this group. Hmm. Yeah. The innovation game. That's what I've been doing. Not dead. <laughs> but now two point eight. Feels my nose go. For the guy behind. Yeah, Off you, you go, still boys. Ah, oh, helps. Really, and so really. This guy's unbelievable. Enzo, what the hell, man? So here's that grey and black car up there. Patience. It's 11 lap race. Okay, Glenn, stay close. Wait for him to make a mistake. So you don't need to fight for every corner. You know, we're cruising at the back of a hungry little pack here. And if you're going to punch people, can you make sure they're like completely dead? The guy behind us is faster because the, we're getting a held up here. <laughs> All these guys should be in the 23s. Yeah, it's a bit On your right, clear right, you're clear. Let's hope he stays up. That was karma, and so I'm afraid. Oh yeah. Hmm. On the inside position. Time. What's the saying? Does not play well with others. I'm okay. Just let me get into zone a little bit. Too much shit going on. Look at that. As soon as they stop fighting, that delta goes bright green. So there's little parts where an extra monitor would come in handy. It's not essential though, and it doesn't... I don't think it necessarily makes you faster. As far as looking for other cars, look at the roll bar. When you've got the triple screen, half of it's covered by the roll bar anyway. Get your elbows out and force the pass. 
you use all different parts of the circuit of the monitor like the mirrors the relative that's how you gauge where the car is around you got the the spotter on edwards is now leading those guys can fight amongst themselves this is good Damn. Stay between the lines, please, Glenn. Fastest lap for Edwards, 224.00. The gap to Wolf in front is now 1.0. Damn. The pit lane speed limit is Damn 60 <laughs> kilometers per hour. We're going to lose one five, more spot. Four, three, two, one. That was all me there. Now. Good finish in front of Stefan, no worries. That was all me. I've been all whinging and complaining now. all weekend about just wanting to get into a rhythm. I finally settled into that rhythm. And I stuffed it. It's all good. Now, 5.1 seconds. So we were almost gaining eye rating there. <laughs> Oh good, woo sa, woo sa. Let's see what I can do on my own then. Optimum of a 24-1 with a bit of slip streaming.
Kids that must be damaged. John's fallen off the pack. Really? New fastest lap for Simonson, 223.72. There's Edwards Tom. Is now in the lead. Right, the best thing I did was go to the pits as quick as I could. And Ark is in the pits. I recovered from the crash relatively quick. All right, Glenn. The next car is Jansen. The gap behind has increased to 13 seconds. Should come out together, I think. P13, you've just done there it. There 24.94. That's your quickest lap. Uh, 24 9, not very good. Anarchy is usually up there with them, the big boys, so I can't make any mistakes while he's just come out of the pits. Caught in that track. Not enough for a slipstream just yet. Come on. Simonson is now in the lead. Track 1.3 four seven. It's not good enough. Two laps remaining. That lap time was 224.78. Okay, Glenn, that's good consistency. Keep it up. To Blanco, Come on, head is now 1.5 seconds. <laughs> Millimeters. Come on, Knackers. Point three. Point 
two, three. Got a little bit loose, but he's pushing. Stupid. Driving way too hard. Oh well. Damn. One more to go. Nice. Great, right, in the middle of the corner, lovely. Blanco ahead is increasing. It's now 2.0 seconds. One point seven. Not enough. Wait for some white flag favor up there. I was sitting with Martin, who's in seventh, though an eighth place would have been very nice today. Ah, oh, well. Edwards is leading the race. Is that a twitch? Not enough, though. No trace, Daniel. We're locked up and almost had an accident there in the chicane. I'm sorry, I couldn't move this that hole that appeared. Disgraceful. P13. There we go. It's over. Bring it back round. Gotta plug the channel. <laughs> So, does three monitors, or do three monitors, I should say, make you faster? No. Nah. No. Nah. You need to be in a rhythm. It's all about you. Just screens aren't going to make you faster, but they will add to the immersion. And that's what it's all about, is just falling into the world that's trying to portray to you. And um, I probably miss about that much. What? Four inches off the sides off the monitor, it's pretty much all I use. So the super ultra wide, I think um, it's better to, yeah, it's, we're gonna be able to see over the car, it'll be fine. Cockpit, so there, I'll probably bring the, oh, is that gonna work? I'll bring the monitors forward or back. See what works. I'm thinking where I had the tires with the triples was right on the edge. So I had half and half. We'll see. Looking forward to it though. And it's just good that I can actually crank the settings a little bit. Add you know, medium and high detail here, high detail there. And 
had um, shadows on the track. I couldn't do that before. I was freaking out. It wasn't so much the frame rate. It was the um, flickering that I couldn't handle. So, good fun. Good, good fun. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Not going to be much to report as I rating wise. I wasn't in it for the I rating. Very nice to get some championship points. We'll have a look anyway, huh? Happy birthday to me. 4th of January 2021. So where were we sitting with Martin, weren't we? We are looking at P8. Easy. Piece of cake. And that would have been 138 points. 126. Ah. Oh. Just stayed there. <laughs> but yeah, no times were impressive today. Previous session, same temps, and they're doing 22s. So... With that crash, plus 13 I rating, it's all good. We'll get it all back. Have a great day, guys. Thumbs up if you liked it. Dan, if you didn't, make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you on track soon. Bye.